Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the formation of poles. So before discussing, once again we recollect all those things of the poles first. So what are the poles? Poles are the main intention to produce the plugs. For poles are very very important role in case of the to generate the magnetic field. That means to create a magnetic field at least it required two poles. That means it required one north pole or one south pole or we can use four poles also. So four poles construction is like this. Then this is north pole and south pole, north pole, south pole. North pole and south pole, north pole and south pole. So poles formation is like this. Okay. Yeah. So the poles is uh, the poles is main reason for generate the flux. If there is no flux, we can't imagine the working of the animation. So how the poles formation is possible, we should discuss. So here the flux will be travel from north to south. Here north to south. Here north to south. Here north to south. Here north to south. Like this. So this flux is reasonable for working of the any machine. Generally, we already discussed about the pole formation. In this pole formation, the supply, for example, in order to form a form a, a pole by using the supply. For example, if we are using a DC supply, is there? DC supply means we have one positive terminal and one the negative terminal. Here the positive terminal means the current is entering from this terminal and it will be if the connection is like this. The connection is if you observe clearly, the connection is like this. So again I will redraw this here. So this is the connection like this. So here generally the connection arrangement is like this. So it's rot it, it revolve, it rewound, it, it is wounded. It is wounded like this. So if you wounded the direction is like this, that means direction is like this by using the right hand thumb rule, the direction will be decides. That means it shows the, uh, it shows the remaining, uh, it is the remaining fingers and it is the right hand. It closed with the remaining fingers. This is the right hand. Then the right hand shows like this. Then north pole, it, it acts as a north pole always from flux will be ejected from the north pole and it will be recollected at the south pole and if you observe here this acts as a south pole and the south pole means it will be it will be collects so right hand thumb rule is like this here so this is the thumb and this is the thumb and these are the remaining hold we should hold like this and just hold it just hold it and the direction is like this hold it and the flux direction is like this the flux is flows like this okay yeah this is about the north pole and it will collect from the south pole these are the about the folds formation generally in order to form these folds first we require the winding we require some winding winding should be connected it's not directly connected winding has two types of winding and those are concentric winding and the another one is the distributed winding two types of windings are available and before discussing these windings just we should discuss the this connection will be winding will be connected by using the coils winding will be connected by using the coils first we should know clearly about the formation of coils how the coils will be formed and how the current collection is done by the coils how the coil arrangement is made we have to discuss here here if you observe here just look at here we are giving coil arrangement is like this the coil this is the supply supply is flows like this and flows like this this will be flows and again this will be 
come into the again the source this will be again entering into the source here this complete structure is called as a coil this complete structure is coil as a coil if you coil if you observe the coil it is simply we can this coil is consisting of how many conductors we have this is the one conductor and this is the two conductors generally it is the combination of conductors the number of conductors may be increases combination of conductors that means conductors may be two or three sometimes we are using the two conductors then it is called two conductor coil so if you observe here this is the another coil so before that what are the important points in the coil the important points is this is called this area this area this two area is called the active coil this area is called the active active coil we can call it as the active copper we can name it as the active copper or the active coil so this area is known as it's not useful generally this area is not useful that's why this area is called as the inactive copper inactive copper although these are useful this coil is made by using the copper but this part this part and the this part are uh, is very much important role in making the flux and for doing the operation but this area this area is called as inactive copper because it doesn't have very much role to working the machine okay this is the supply so here how many turns are available just look at here this is called this point to this point is called the one turn because it is turn starting from here and turn it again come to here so that's why we can call it it as a the coil consisting of the one turn we can name it as the one turn one turn okay so this one turn coil can be again just look at the another example of the coil this is the another example of the coil for this example just look at here here the supply is there and the supply is flows like this and it will be flows and it will be flows and it will come here this is called one turn this is called the one turn and next after that again the coil will be entering here then again entering into here this is the second turn what about third turn this is the third turn here this is also a one coil this is called uh, again it is a coil again it is a coil this coil consisting of the how, three turns the consisting of the three turns so that means what you understand generally how many conductors are available one two three so that's that's we can name it as one turn consisting of the two conductors one turn consisting of the two conductors so look at here starting from here this will be completed this is called the one turn in this one turn look at here this is the one turn in this one turn we have the two conductors in this we have the two conductors so this is called another turn this is the second turn what about third turn third turn is this is the third turn so we have the three turns so each each turn each one turn consisting of the two conductors so for this particular coil number of conductors are number of conductors are generally represents with the z z equal number of turns is 3 and each turn consisting of the two therefore we have the six conductors therefore it consisting of the six conductor look at here this is the one coil it consisting of the one turn that's why we can write one coil consisting of the one turns means is consisting of the two conductors two conductors so therefore number of conductors for this coil we can name it as the two conductors so this is the one turn coil this is a three turn coil we can use any turns of the coil we can use 3 5 or 10 20 depends on the application we will use the depends on the application 
okay this is the terms related to the coil and the turns and this so we can name it we can name it one turn equal generally turns is represents by the n turn is nothing but 2 into z number of turns number of turns is represents with for the coil for coil particularly 2 into z here turn and this is the conductors and this is the conductor so this is the terminology regarding the coil and turns and the conductors you know that conductors are very much useful to flow the to flow the current that current may be useful for in case of field this current may be useful for produce the flux in case of in case of armature that current may be useful for generating the torque so these are the very much important terms so this is the formation of the pole these poles will be formed by the coils coil arrangement is like this then coil have the new terms called turn and conductors this is the relation between the coil turn and relation okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you